What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. So, I'm in my office right now on that Pump and Grind pre-workout. Link is in the description to Pump Chaser Sups. Be sure to fuck with it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am tired than a motherfucker. Not only I am tired, but I think I'm somewhat dehydrated. It has been hot as a motherfucker in Texas, which is one of the reasons why I haven't been vlogging much because to be quite honest with you guys, for the past five days, I have not left my house until the sun goes down. It is hot than a motherfucker. Anybody who's been watching me a while knows one of the reasons why I never preached being summer lean and shit like that is because I'm not even a big fan of the summer. Our Texas summers are fucking brutal. So, I'm up in the office, up in on my pre-workout. About to get ready to train. Rocking that red and white hooded stringer to match my American flag bandana. Be sure to fuck with that hooded stringer, man. Fuck with PumpChasers.com in general. Freeway, man. We got three guests for the show today. If you want to be on the Ash Beast Mode show, send your video and video only. Motherfuckers be emailing me with uh, their life story and shit. Video only, man. You want to be on the show, video only. All right, I got my computer right here. So you're probably going to notice me looking back and forth. Three guests, no disrespectful fucking comments or you will be blocked. Okay. And uh, let's just get straight down to business. Here's the first person. Hey, Chris, this is Rob from Maryland. Big fan, man. I've been following you ever since you did Aziz the Greatness and transitioned to Pump Chasers, Big Fanatic. I want to say I've been following you about three to four years now. Um, had a couple questions on my diet. I want to know if you critique it and also on my physique. Um, I've been dieting or cutting it for at least, I want to say six months. I've been adamantly at it. Keeping my diet regimen strict, 40, 40, 20. Um, I weigh 177, 5'11", 26 year old male. And uh, recently I, I measured my body fat percentage and it came up to 13.5%. Um, you know, as you can see, I mean, my abs are in there. I wanted to get a little more cut so this left oblique will come in, but I guess that's genetic. So if I can't get it, fuck it. I mean, the rest of the body seems to be coming in well. I mean, I'm pretty lean right now. I mean, if, the, if that scale was accurate, 13.5% body fats, I mean, showing a good amount of muscle definition, which I see in my body, my arms, especially my back. Um, and it's coming to the point that I don't know how much lower I should go or how much longer I should continue this cut, uh, which I guess leads me to my next question is, what, at what point do you recommend your, uh, I guess, clients or not um, customers to stop cutting i mean at 13.5 i don't know how much if i go any lower how much more vascular i get i mean i'm not really i mean this is whole ready in my eyes i mean will, i'll be nice to add some more chest but um i was thinking about dropping to the single digits but i mean i do plan on bulking up again in august so i don't know if it's even worth me getting that cut or if i should just start now what are your thoughts I also want to know what a healthy body fat percentage is for I guess a lot of young guys like me who want to get cut and they want to get ripped already. Um, I feel like taking in single digits, maybe pushing it. However, I want to get your intake on it. Hope to hear from you, man. Thanks again. All right, my brother. First and foremost, let me say thank you for sending your video in. All right, so first and foremost, he said he's been cutting a while. I wish he would have shown us or emailed me a photo that way I could have put it across the screen for you guys to kind of give us an idea if um, to, to kind of give us an idea of where he started from and where he's at now because that will let me know if he's been cutting properly let's say for an example he's lost 20 pounds or 30 pounds and he still looks practically the same well that would give me an idea that maybe he wasn't cutting properly because I've already made a video and you guys need to go watch it it's called uh, the difference between cutting I'm not bad the difference between getting lean and the difference between losing weight there's a complete difference. yes on on both ends of the spectrum yes you are losing weight on the scale but it's two different results so anytime somebody's talking about they've been cutting this long and that long really want to see where they started from 
So anyway, another thing, he said he's about 13% body fat. Most likely he did that with the pinching caliper test because um, before people started doing DEXA scans, a lot of us over-exaggerated, including myself. At one point in my life, I told people I was 6% body fat. Very ignorant, didn't know any better. You know, we did the whole caliper test, but um, the DEXA scans has proved that a lot of us are definitely overestimating our body fat percentage. There are people that have been con contest fucking lean. I'm talking shredded fucking butt cheek lean, and they've come up to be about seven or eight percent. So, a lot of us have definitely overestimated our body fat percentage. And just based off of looking at them, I can tell he's at least 15, at least 15, 16 percent body fat. I don't give a fuck what pinching test you've done. I don't give a damn if you've done the test where you you hold your hands on that machine and it gives you an estimate. Just based off all the DEXA scans I've seen and all the results I've seen based off of DEXA scans, I can look at you and tell at least, at least 15, 16%, and that's at the lowest. You might be a little higher than that. Okay, so 15, 16% body fat. And yes, I agree, you are, you're definitely in pretty good shape, you know what I mean? Because keep in mind, the average motherfuckers do not lift. So you, with your shirt off at a resort, at a beach, you killing them. You are fucking killing them. It does not take much to uh, outdo a lot of these average people. Now he wants to know my opinion, should he get a little leaner than this? And I'm gonna have to say yes. Not because I wanna see the guy shred it, because he plans to bulk in August. The leaner you start your bulk, the better. So, yeah, man, you're 177 now. At 5'11", stop it. But stop somewhere between 165 and 170. I say 165. Just stop there and then go on a nice gradual lean bulk. That gives you more room to grow. It gives you more room to add to the scale because if you were to start bulking at this weight you're at right now, after you gain about 10 pounds, you're probably gonna be completely smooth. So uh, I know 10 pounds don't sound like a lot, guys, but 10 pounds is a lot of weight, okay? If you ever, have you ever seen, a pound of fat looks like this. So times that by 10 and spread it all across your body. That's a lot of weight. So yeah, in my humble opinion, maybe stop at about 165, you know? And I mean, I don't know your, I don't know what your beliefs are. Everybody's different. Some people think shaving is some sissy shit. If you shave your chest and stomach, you would look a little leaner. So, you know, like I said, I don't know your beliefs. You might be one of those guys that say, oh no, fuck that, shaving it for fucking sissies. You know, fine, that, that's your belief. But yeah, you would definitely look a lot leaner than you look if you were to shave your body hair and drop about 10 more pounds. His other question is, what's a healthy body fat percentage for a natural lifter to be at? That's a damn good question. You might hear, you might hear a lot of motherfuckers preaching the whole stand shredded year round bullshit. A lot of these guys are not natural guys, keep that in mind. And then a lot of these guys are fake natties. A true, true natural lifter, anywhere between eight to 12% is a good place to stay at year round. While keeping your, your you know, your, 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 testosterone, your testosterone levels balanced and not feeling weak and lethargic, eight to 12% body fat, eight. Eight being the absolute motherfucking lowest. So I say 10 to 12% body fat is a good place to be for a natural person if you want to stay lean year round. As you know, I'm not one of these lean year round motherfuckers. I like to do, I fat, I'm like your boy Alpha Destiny. He's bear mode. I'm fat swole mode. He has his bear mode shit. I'm, I'm fat swole. You understand me? That's why I'm able to make gains. You know what I mean? Of course I'm not gaining like five pounds of muscle year every fucking year. I'm gaining very small amounts of muscle yearly, but I'm able to make gains because for one, I don't get crazy shredded. And two, I'm not afraid to fucking bulk and go to the gym and lift some real fucking weight. You understand me? So yeah, man. So to answer your question, yes, I think you should probably drop about 10 more pounds, get a little bit of leaner to set you up for a nice lean bulk. 
And like you just said, you want your bleach to come in a little more. I can already see that six pack frame. You got a nice long torso. You're gonna have your nice eight pack. So yeah, 10 more pounds. Um, a good body fat percentage to stay at year round for a natural. It's 8% at the absolute fucking lowest to 12%. In my humble opinion, 10 to 12 is plenty if you got muscle. If you got fucking muscle, 10 to 12 is beautiful. You don't even have to be crazy low in body fat when you got some fucking muscle. All right? So anyway, man, thanks again for sending your video. Let's go to the next person. Peace. What's going on, Chris? Uh, if you can't tell, my daughter loves your videos just about as much as I do. Uh, my name's Eric Olson. I'm 34 years old, soon to be 35 next week. I'm six foot one, weighing in right now around 180 pounds. Um, in the video you're about to watch, I was uh, down to 172.8 pounds. Uh, after getting a DEXA body fat scan, it recorded me at that weight plus 10.4% body fat. That's after finishing Christian Guzman's 90 day summer shredding challenge. Uh, a little background about myself, I've been working out for about seven years now. The last three years have been taking the most serious where I've actually tracked my macros and followed a workout routine. Initially I was doing kind of the bro split, one muscle group every day, but the last six months I've been doing a push-pull leg routine with six days on, one day off. Uh, previously I've competed in one men's physique show last October and I want to possibly continue competing in the future, but I'm definitely not trying to be a bodybuilder, so just take that into consideration. Uh, if you can't tell, I did have sh total shoulder replacement surgery on my right shoulder in May of 2010. That caused a little bit of muscle imbalance, which is something I continue to strive to work to fix, since I know being having symmetric muscles is, is key being up on stage. Anyways, take a look at my physique. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what weak points I have or what I should work on trying to develop. Um, that way I can be the, me the best men's physique competitor on stage. Thanks a ton for your videos, man. Keep them coming because you know we, you have a lot of fans that appreciate them. And don't forget to link my shit. Just kidding. Hey, before we start, real quick, let me get TG up here. Show him the new joggers you're rocking, guys. Just letting y'all know the joggers are now in stock. He came to try them out. They get the same size slim fit joggers you wear. Yeah. They fit exactly the same, except for the material's a little different, so they will give you a little more stretching room. You're gonna love them. Perfect for the summer. Oh, Not gonna be oh, extra hot. Look good. Look my damn Daniel. Looking good. Got the damn Daniel Vans <laughs> on. He's ready, man. All right, so check it out, man. Did you see that guy's physique? 34 years old. He's been lifting seven years. So that means he started at about the age of 26, 27 years old. Look at that muscularity. Look at the detail in all the muscle groups. This guy's 34 years old, built better than a lot of these 20 year olds out here. You know I'm not lying. How many of you 20 year olds out there wish you looking like that right now? Okay, so you definitely can build a great physique 100% naturally, just being patient. You understand what I'm saying? Now, one of the reasons why I use this guy's video, not only because he got a nice physique, but I was just telling you earlier from the first guy how people overestimate their body fat percentages. Like, look, the guy told you he measured his body fat at 10.4%. We're just gonna say 10 to keep shit simple. This guy measured his body fat at practically 10.5%. And look how lean he looks. Now, a lot of people will probably say he's 6 or 8% body fat, which brings me to my point. A lot of people overestimate their body fat percentages because not a lot of you guys have ever used a DEXA scan. DEXA scan is practically the most accurate way to measure your body fat. You know, the crazy thing about this guy's body fat percentage is if he would have went to like 24-hour fitness or some shit where they do the caliper test, they probably would have had them at like five or six percent body fat. But luckily, we now have better technology called DEXA scans, and we know what a true 10% looks like. So like I told you earlier for the first guy, you're about 14, 15% body fat at the absolute lowest, maybe even slightly higher than that. But I'm gonna say 14, 15% body fat. 
okay? Which also brings me to my other point. You see how lean his obliques are and how lean he looks in general? How sucked up he is on the cheeks like he's really tight in the face? He's fucking lean and that's only 10% body fat. You understand what I'm saying? Which brings me to my point, how I was telling y'all earlier. As a natural lifter, staying lean year round, 8% body fat at the fucking lowest is what you should be at. This guy is 10, look how lean he is. 8% at the lowest, 12% at the highest for staying lean year round. You don't need to go anything under 8. Anything under 8 that is just sickening lean and you, you risk fucking with your hormones and your dick getting hard and all that shit. You don't want that, guys. And this guy was good at 10. So that's why I use this guy's video. Good physique, a good example of what natural lifting can do for you. And just to give you an idea of what a, a legit 10.5% body fat looks like from Dexa Scan. All right, so now let's get to this guy's physique, okay? As you see, he has a nice trim midsection. Let's first and foremost keep in mind, he clearly says he's not trying to be a bodybuilder. He's going for that beach body look. And he's competing at physique. Physique don't even, they don't even judge legs. Even though his legs aren't even that bad compared to his upper body. They're nice and muscular. They're not huge by any means, but they're nice and muscular. He clearly says that's trying to be a bodybuilder. So let's judge him on a physique standpoint. Nice trim midsection, which is very, very important in physique. Now I'm pausing the screen right here. Where he said he had shoulder surgery, look on the left side of the screen. You can clearly see that scar on the left side. And look on the right side. Now look at this right arm. See that nice juicy bicep peak? And then his front depth has a peak as well. It looks like two mountains side by side. And then on the left side, that shoulder is very flat. I guess due to the surgery, due to the muscle imbalance but he still has that awesome bicep peak. So obviously he already told us the shoulder is imbalanced and he's trying to correct that. If you're not doing dumbbells already, man, I say the majority of your shoulder work should be uh, unilateral movements. Uh, cut back on the bilateral movements because that these arms are so significantly um, lagging behind each other that you need to make sure each arm works independently and let them catch up. You know what I mean? And so there it goes. Delts and upper chest are the two body parts that really need to be brought the most. Keep in mind the physique, the V taper is everything. What's important in the V taper? V taper you need to have a nice trim midsection, some wide lats, upper chest and delts. So he got the midsection, he got a pretty good back, he even has some nice erectors when he turned around. Gotta bring up those shoulders and upper chest. So two weak points, shoulders and upper chest. But like I said, this guy looks amazing, which is why I showcased him on this channel. Great physique, great example of what natural bodybuilder can do for you guys. And like I told you earlier, you do not have to go to like 8% body fat and shit like that when you actually have muscle. When you actually have muscle on your fucking body, 10% body fat is the lowest you ever have to go. Unless you want to compete in some shit like that. Alright? Again, thank you for your video, man. I know that uh, seeing you is going to give a lot, of people motiv a lot of people motivation, especially for guys like myself that are in our 30s still doing this shit. So, I know a lot of my homies out there that are in their 30s Hey, look at this right here. All right. So anyway, let's get to the next person and we're going to wrap this shit up. What's good, Chris Jones? It's your boy Mimo from the UK. Um, basically, I've got a question for you. I feel I'm a boys and tries, but mostly my boys are lagging. So I need advice on how to put on some more meat on that. And I've done a video of me flexing separately but i'll put it all together and send it to you so um yeah let me know so before i want you to know yeah i'm um, 13 stone i'm about 5 11 natural lifter obviously and um before you before you judge me i've been to a festival over the weekend i did a lot of rolls for them holes before i went so i'm feeling a little bit rough but still i had to do the um flexing video even in that condition but yeah 
Um, you can check out my Instagram, Mimsy F50. Yeah, which is um, M I M Z Y F five zero, and um, get a rough idea of what I actually look like. And um, if you think you can give me any more advice on any other body part after you've watched that video, feel free, because I would appreciate that. Thank you and holla back at your boy. All right, my brother. First and foremost, what kind of stringer are you wearing? You got your titties all out and shit? Go buy a pump chaser stringer. Your titties will not be out, okay? So, let's get to this guy's physique. You can tell he got some nice muscular physique. For anybody wondering where 13 stone is, I had to Google that shit. I'm in America, we talk pounds, not kilos and fucking stone. That's about 182 pounds, in case y'all happen to give a fuck. Okay, so one thing I noticed, you can definitely tell this guy's workout. He got some nice meat mass, meaty mass on his physique. I will say, genetically, he has narrow clavicles, just like myself. I have a narrow clavicle, which means to achieve that wide shoulder look, it's going to take some time. Think about it like this. Even Phil Heath, the Mr. Olympia, has narrow clavicles, so don't think you're doomed just letting you know that you have narrow clavicles and it's going to take you some time to get that nice wide look so you're going to have to really hit those delts nice and hard you know you're going to have to hit that back nice and hard rid of those lower lats to really give you that cobra look it's going to take some time and patience don't think any most most genetic disadvantages can be overworked with patients okay that's why we're different we all are different we have our genetic strong points we have our genetic weak points so right off the bat narrow clavicles it's going to take you some time to achieve that wild look so you need to hit those lats real hard hit those delts real hard hit those traps real hard just this upper region in general okay and of course the legs Y'all saw, his, his ending was very awkward, it just ended abruptly, but yeah, definitely got to bring those legs up, man. I mean, I can definitely tell you hit them, but, you know, you're 5 foot 11, so you're not, you're not some fucking 5 foot 6, 5 foot 7, 5 foot 8 guy. You're going to have to really hit those limbs, you know, because you, you, to achieve that fuller look when you're taller, it's going to take a little longer than somebody like myself who can, I feel, I actually feel filled my physique out guys in about four to five years now somebody and i'm five foot seven uh, by the way now somebody who's maybe five foot ten six foot two probably take them a good eight years you know what i mean so you need to make get those legs a little bigger and work on your width i can definitely tell you work out you don't look like somebody who doesn't train you ask me to protect your physique, and that's what I'm, and that's the feedback I'm giving. Nice muscular physique can definitely tell you work out. Just gotta work on your width because you're already got the never your your clavicles are the same width as your waist. Like look at my last video, guys, where I had that. I think he was Filipino or Asian. It's really hard to tell, but he was a young kid who was about 135 pounds. Look at the last episode. How I told you he had the wide clavicles with the natural cap delts. This guy's the complete opposite. Narrow clavicles. Okay, but look. Muscular physique. Work on your width. Work on your legs. And you'll be good to go. And don't forget. Pumpchasers.com Get you a nice stringer that won't have your titty meat all out. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, guys. He asked about bringing up his biceps. His biceps can use some more development. I have a video. I recorded it earlier today. Go watch it. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendar. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. The bicep video will be up. Watch that video. It will tell you how to bring up lagging biceps. And you know how I do my tutorials. Straight raw, camera follow me, teaching you the do's and don'ts and how to execute form. So to answer his question, to answer your question, brother, watch my video two days from now. Okay. All right, so that's our three guests for the day, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us. Ladies, where the fuck y'all at? <laughs> Where the fuck y'all at? Because let me tell you this. We had a um, appreciation three-quarter sleeve pink and gold shirts. And them bitches sold like crazy. So I know you out here. Why aren't you sending me any motherfucking videos? I told you 
I would block the hippies. We want to see you. Gotta check the physiques. We want to see those physiques, okay? <laughs> we want to help you out. All right, so uh, anyway, y'all want to be on the show? Send your email to askbsmode at hotmail.com. I love doing these videos. I always tell you I'm a trainer first and a um, bodybuilder second. So send those videos. Let's keep this show going, okay? And I'm sorry about the lack of vlogs. I just haven't been at the house. I, I haven't been at the house lately. It is so fucking hot. Oh, TJ, it ain't hot to the motherfucker. It's hot as fuck. Bro, I literally wake up about 10, do my emails, play a little video games, and yeah. once the sun starts to go down a little bit, then I leave the fucking house. And the worst part is, even when it's cloudy, it's hot. Man, it is humid, too. Hell, I don't want to get out of the house. Yeah, it's like fuck that. Like, your boxers are stuck to your ass. It's so hot, okay? So anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. By 30 of them bitches. Because Bruno, he needs those treats. And holler back at your boy. I've been getting money, I've been getting money.